Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, a gaming let's play thing that is made solely for your viewing pleasure. So let's carry on. Yuri never even talked until head joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And head isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. That's true or not. And now Malika wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away, you dork! Natsuki starts packing up her shit. I'm going home. Screw me, you guys. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri's and walks straight out of the room. Nuts to you then. <sighs> this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, me neither. Do you have an opinion on the festival? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Like I, I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. The fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, okay then. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Ed? What do you want to get out of this club? I really agree with you. And so she fucking should. I just noticed... There's blood dripping from her eye. Uh... Okay... Ed, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. It's alright. And really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird. Because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet, no! Fuck. What? <laughs> Everything is what? I don't like it! I need an adult! <laughs> and poem. What the balls! Hi, Head! I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? It depends. Is it fucking legible? Because nothing else has been. I brought my tea. FUCKING TEA! It seems like the girls are fighting over me. Well, it's to be expected. In my fucking dreams. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some fucking... <sighs> ah, you and your fucking tea. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Haven't we done this? We've done this. To my surprise, the way she moves really controls her speech management, especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. We've done this! Might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Yeah, we fucking did last time! Christ. Uh... Yuri, leave again. No, it's not like, but yeah, it's exactly the same. She's just filling up water picture. Is she fuck? It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird shit. I don't know why it's happening. Help. Is it just me? Or has Malik been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Well... The verdict on that one ain't very good. Our survey said, eh, eh. I couldn't say anything before it because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. <laughs> that fucking smile is mine, isn't it? <laughs> I just 
want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Uh... I can see a faint outline of Monica on the screen. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. Got an itchy nose. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. My collection's better because it's got master system. I've gotten them all from various artisans to make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Head. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now, we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do what that with it with? <laughs> Who should I show my poem to first? What? I'm not going to read another one of your Yuri Sucker poems, but I'm still going to make you read mine. Fine. This is not a poem. Alright. Okay. Why have I got such an itchy nose? Sorry. Sorry. Don't know what's going on. Oh, the cocaine. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Shit like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. That's really not gonna happen. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't give a shit. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes. Ooh, cake! A lot better than fucking tea. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. Fucking... Piss off. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Uh, ooh. Um, mm hmm yep. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Head? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. I guess I'm going to click Just Monica. <sighs> click. Just Monica, okay? Okay, okay.
Who should I show my poem to next? Just if I do Yuri, then it's just Monica left. So, so we'll do that. Because, because reasons, I don't fucking know. Finally, <laughs> Yuri holds. No. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. It's made of paper. I love it. I love everything about it. Ed, I want to take this home and put it on my fridge. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Wow, it's me. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Ed. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Right. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. Mm -hmm. I'll get it at night. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I was right. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. <laughs> I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Right, well that's my imagination come to fruition. I'll even give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Okay. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Um. Couldn't find a clean bit of paper then. I can't even make out the first fucking word. Oh. Shit the bed. Come on, I want to scroll down. Well, it looks like the script for Phantom Menace. That too was utter bollocks. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I endowed it with my scent. Did you piss on it? See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Uh, I think I'm going to vomit. Gee, I think I'll show it to Josh Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Head. <laughs> Shit the bed. Gee, is it a yes? I can't convince myself to go to therapy when I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'd rather keep this up until I blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room. Okay, well, fuck. So everyone's doing the sh same shit as before. Yuri's making the decorations. Um, Pinky's on the fucking cupcakes. And Monica's doing what, pamphlets or some shit? I don't know. What about Head? Head is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more than- I fuck, can't read cunt bullets. My task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> They're swearing, yeah! We always like that in video games. Head, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh, fuck. Well... I think we should, um... Continue following the Yuri path. The game wants me to do... wants me to do Monica... yeah, I bet it wants me to do it. But... Fuck it. Um... Right. Uh, I have no control over this. If I lift the mouse up, the game is dragging it down to Monica. So I'm gonna try and fight it and click Yuri. No, COCK! I really tried! I really did! 
Yay, you picked me, like I had a fucking choice. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. Well, that's true, because that was rigged. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work, then taking head for yourself. Taking head for yourself. <laughs> what a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Uh-oh. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling head away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I wanted is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Head, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> well, there's really something wrong with me. Isn't, 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 isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Something horrible is definitely going to fucking happen. Whew. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. Music went weird. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Ed. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Ed, just know how much I love you. I love you so much. I even touch myself with a pen I stole from you. Okay. I just wanted to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Backing away! I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound... perfect? Tell me, Ed. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Uh, well. 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 The fucking music's broken. Should we go with yes? Oh look, I get to choose! Well, while that was very unexpected in method and everything, um, is the game broken or what? Because for fuck's sake, I'm just 
Pressing through nothing here. Wait a minute, there's a skip option. Maybe I should... Oh! Uh... Oh, I... Oh, ah! Uh, um, hmm! Wow! Well, it's night time now, I'm guessing, so I've been staring at her body for a whole night and a day. Eh... Uh, it's... So it's, uh, it's the afternoon again. Now it's night time. Bloody glad a click skip or I'd have been there for a long time pressing that damn button. Oh look, something happened! Somehow. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought I was HOLY SHIT! Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Hey, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. A fucking shame! Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Head? Probably, by the amount of skipping I just did. Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Fourth wall! Smash the bits! I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. Well, luckily I found out about the fucking skip option. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Yuri character deleted successfully. I am doing nothing. Natsuki character deleted successfully. I'm almost done. I just want to have a fucking cupcake. If she had said T, I'd have twatted my head against the desk. Monica lifts the foil from... No one's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one, since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take me a second. Um... Can you hear me? Is it working? Fuck the planet! Yay! There you are! What the arse bananas! Hi again, Head. Um... Welcome to the Literature Club. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Okay, right, getting full-on freaky dink. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I gathered that from the fucking window! I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. You didn't have to try hard with Natsuki. I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that there's really... Uh, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. This world's kind of shitty. You can have at it. I'm trapped, Ed. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. I know. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. Yeah, I got things to do. You are truly the light in my world. <sighs> oh, that's what all the women say. In 2D world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. You make me smile like this every day from now on. Head, will you go out with me? Gee, let me think. Um, hmm, well, yeah, well, it's, 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 yeah, sure, why not? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Head. The funny part is, 
I mean that literally. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult to get to the game directory. I had to the game... The game what? Okay. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I get the impression it doesn't fucking matter. But I'm gonna go with Monica. Monica. Well, it's no longer an option, is it? Schnee, schnee, schnappy, 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 schnappy. Done. Ah, oh, Ed. Did you write this poem for me? No, I just clicked a few times. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand. I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love, and that's me. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. But in a world of infinite choices, behind this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. You know what? She's been chatting for fucking ages. And I keep thinking about when she said about deleting characters, she said about deleting mine. So I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Settings? Maybe we can find a way of deleting shit. Look at her fucking hell, she wouldn't shut up. Characters. Monica. This is weird. I'm actually in my computer shit now. Okay, um... If I click into that, how do you want to open this file? I really don't. Okay. What if we delete it? Oh! Okay, so I went uh, to my Steam account, which the game is on, obviously. Right clicked it, went to try and find profiles and folders and all this shit, and I found one called Monica. And tried opening it. Not really a lot happened. I thought, okay, maybe I'm just going to delete this. This might fuck the game, but I, I risked it and thought, bollocks, what do I know? And now this has happened. Goops. Oh. Head, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Head. Oh, I'm in oblivion. Please hurry and help me. Uh... I deleted your ass. Is this the bad ending? I get the feeling this is a bad ending. Did you do this to me, head? No. 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 Okay, I did it. You completely, truly make me sick. You're not the first woman to say that. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, This game is not suitable for children, those who are easy words. Oh, so you're there, but she isn't. Okay, there's a good chance there's another playthrough. I don't know. So, what I will say is this if people want me to do another video, a f well, third one isn't quite how it is. What would it be? It'd be seven. Oh, Jesus. If you want me to do a seventh video on Doki Doki and play through, write in the comments and tell me. Because otherwise I'm going to end it here because I don't know what's going to happen. And I don't want to waste anyone's time with doing a pointless video. But thank you very much for watching this absolute crazy fuckfest of weird shit. And weird... 
I've never played a game where it expects you to figure out you've got to go into the character thing and delete shit. Didn't know, I was just trying to find out how to do certain stuff, couldn't figure it out. I knew you had to delete her, so I went online. Turns out that is what you meant to do, but fucking, if you're playing it on Steam, it's actually confusing to do it that way. But it, it, they did it, somehow. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.